This is Twit. Um, okay, so we have this question that I got from Neil that relates to this about replacing your uh, your MacBook with an iPad. Yeah. Uh, Neil wrote, I've ordered the 10.5 inch iPad Pro and I would like to be able to transfer all of my data from the MacBook Air so that the iPad can replace it. What's the best way to move all of the data? Will it retain their file structure under iOS? Yeah, this is a, it's tricky. It's tricky, but... <laughs> I, I feel like the answer here is, I mean, quest, question is what is the file structure and what kind of files are these? And are they files that are readable by iOS apps? Like image files, if you want to put them in a photo library, the best thing to do is probably to sync them with iCloud Photo Library or Google Photos, mm -hmm. right? What you want to do is get them in a cloud photo library so that it's on the Mac, it's in the cloud, and it's on your iPad as well, right? For a lot of these files, if they're Word files, if they're PowerPoint files, if they're Office kind of files or their pages or numbers or whatever. I don't know. The nice thing about the way the iPad works with files now is you can put these in iCloud Drive. You can put these in Dropbox. There are lots of different places you One can drive. put them. You can put them in OneDrive. You can put them in Box. And in iOS 10, you can use those apps to access them. Uh, and some of them you can use from, depending on what app you're using, you can actually open directly from the file, the cloud service provider in those apps. And in iOS 11, not only will you be able to do that, but the new files app will be there that'll let you browse around those services. But what, you know, at no point here does the iPad have the concept of like the iPad's hard drive where you copy your files over. Mm -hmm. They really, Apple is really aggressive of wanting you to think of cloud, the cloud as the place you put your files. So, you know, my advice for him would be find, if you already have a cloud service that you're subscribed to, that's the answer here is put your files in the cloud and then your iPad will be able to get to them and load them and you can use them that way. That makes sense. So, so the file system. Have you played around with the, the new file? I, I keep calling it a file system, but that's not it's what files, it, it's the files. It's app. a files app, and the you know the big difference from the Mac is that the Mac you open up a Mac and you go to the Finder. It's mm -hmm. like file management is what the Mac is. It's like a really not very interesting video game where you drag files around. Mm -hmm. That's sort of like the base feature of the Mac. And the iOS, the main screen is the app launcher, right? It's the home screen. Files is a separate app. So if you want to if you want to drag files around and make folders and things like that. You totally can with the Files app, which is basically like a replacement for the iCloud Drive app. Um, it's the same idea, except it extends beyond iCloud Drive to be any any different cloud file storage system. And uh, so yeah, you open it up and you can see files in Dropbox or or Box or OneDrive or whoever supports it, as well as iCloud Drive. And with the new multitasking and drag and drop, that also means you can just literally just touch on a file, pick it up, and then drag it into another app and drop it. And, and it'll let you do that. So there are lots of different ways this can go, but it's going to be way more flexible um, than it used to be. If you're somebody who thinks in terms of files and mm -hmm. finding a file, I think iOS isn't built that way. We think in terms of apps. But if you do have to go get a file, sometimes that's the case. You have to go get a file. They should let you go find that file or make a folder and drag a bunch of files into it so you know where those files are. And the Files app, yeah, it'll do that. It's a little bit weird, right? It's new for iOS, mm -hmm. but I'm... Uh, I, I'm encouraged by it because it's not the default, right? It's just an option. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if this is Neil's case, but I know for my case, I do have things in OneDrive and I have things in Google Drive and I have things in iCloud. Um, now, would, but you, have you, would you do this now or would you wait for the file app? I think you could do this now, honestly. I think it'll get better with the files app, but all of these services have iOS apps now, right? Like you, if you put your files in Google Drive on a Mac or a PC and then you go to your iPad, you open Google Drive, there they are and you can get them out of there and you can mm -hmm. say, open in and have them open or in some apps you can you can have an open dialogue and choose Google Drive and go open the file like you can do that now it's maybe not as unified and not as nice as it'll be in iOS 11 but you could do it the only hesitation I've got is if he's got apps that are that do not exist on iOS that he, he thinks the file is important but he can't open it on iOS that's going to be a problem mm -hmm. and there are special media types right so like if you've got music the best thing you can do is probably Probably not to drag your music collection to uh, a cloud library, although you could. 
I suppose, um, but you might want to think about syncing that with one of these services that lets you upload your music library into the cloud and does matching. And Apple has that. So does Amazon. So does Google. Um, video the same way. Like so, and photos is the obvious one where you you probably don't want those. Dropbox would love you to just drag your entire photo library into Dropbox. You could do that. Mm -hmm. It will work. It might not be as nice as using iCloud Photo Library or Google Photos. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I think we did a good job answering Neil's question. Yeah, I mean, I don't be afraid of it unless unless you've got a special file format that you can't touch. At which point, you're probably not thinking of moving to iOS. It's safe. I feel like it's really safe now. Like I, I tell people, if you've got like Microsoft Office files, put them in your cloud drive. Mm -hmm. Put them in your OneDrive. Presumably, you've got, and open them on iOS. It's that simple. Mm -hmm.